hello. I am Beatrice Bupley, um, and some of you know me as Amanda Kruger, the mother to baby Freddy, Freddy Kruger in Nightmare on Elm Street 5, the dream child, sister Mary Helena, Amanda Kruger. Yes, that is me. Um, and to tell you about my favorite Halloween memory, gosh, it's to go back quite a long time ago when I was probably about 11 years old. And I was living in a small town in Belmede, New Jersey. And uh, we used to go trick-or-treating as a group. And there was one house that was um, owned by one of the teachers in our school. And all the other teachers would get together once a year for this Halloween event. And they'd deck out the whole house and make it totally into this haunted um, walkthrough. And it was so cool. So you'd go up to the door, you knock, and then Dracula in full costume would answer the door maybe, and it would be one of your teachers. And they would have the smoke coming out, you know, um, and it was all dark and weird lights flashing and spooky music. And then you'd go through and, and there would be cobwebs and ghoulish things, and then there'd be a coffin and another teacher would come rising out of it, you know, all dressed up. And then different teachers would come jumping out at you in this way and that way and lead you as you got, went through, you know, the living room and the bedrooms or whatever was downstairs, dining room. And then in the kitchen, they would have it all laid out, um, or maybe the dining room, they'd have it laid out with all this spooky food and they'd blindfold you. And first they'd put your hands in this one bowl and say, these are eyeballs, you know, and it'd be peeled grapes and you'd be like, ah, you know, and then this is a heart and it would be like a mushed up peach or something and it'd feel all gross. And then of course, then there's brains and that would be like spaghetti and they'd put your hands through. And the whole thing was just so amazing and it was so much fun. We just loved, loved, loved it. It was scary, um, fun. And then of course they'd have the best candy at the end. Everyone would get like a whole big candy bag to take home with all kinds of favorite treats. And um, between the music and the atmosphere, it was absolutely our highlight of our Halloween trick-or-treating every single year. And I just remember the fall, that crisp air, and the, the smell of the leaves, and maybe some fires going on, you know, little um, fire pits that people had going. And, the, and we, of course, oh, and at this house, too, they played the games, because this was well before COVID, and this was back in the oh, 70s. <laughs> so we would do dunking for apples, which of course nowadays would be all, ooh, germy, germy, because we're all dunking our heads and biting into apples that other people have dunked their heads into with all the saliva. But um, we were a healthy bunch, so we'd dunk for apples um, or bobbing for apples. Um, oh, they'd have the um, sort of apple cinnamon donuts on strings and we'd have to hand our, tie our hands behind and go on our knees and try to bite those off. What else did they have? Um, yeah, there was those things and there was something they used to do with the candied corn. Oh yeah, we'd string, we'd string the candied corn. We'd have a contest to see who could make the necklace the quickest. So this would be at the very end after you'd gone through the spooky house. So it was just amazing. And, you know, a lot of effort went into it. A lot of the time, you know, that it took for the teachers to pull this together and the local parents. And this wasn't PTA or anything. It was just on their own. They would do this for the local neighborhood kids. And I will never forget that. My favorite, most amazing memory of Halloween. Hope you all have an amazing, awesome Halloween. Mm-hmm.